Two laps to go. The sign is up. Two laps to go for the top speed fabrication modified. It's Terry Fisher, Jr. and Harold Scott lead the field. Trevor Berry and Scotty Tomasek, second row. Chad Poole, Brian Nestor in row three. Brad Springer, Jonathan Martin, row four. Jeff Lane and Joe Axum. The white flag's out. That's one more to go, ladies and gentlemen. Damon Breedlove on the outside of Jeff Lane. Burkett and Axum in the sixth row. Into three and through the roll apex of the corner, and they are off. Fisher Jr. with a big start. Heavy acceleration from the inside lane. Barry follows him through. So does Chad Poole. Scott falls to fourth. Thomasek in fifth. Springer and Nestor door to door as they go down the back stretch. Nestor pulls away. Everybody clean through the first corner. Looks like they're going to get through the second corner. Three and four also. It's Fisher Jr., Barry, Poole. Scott really close to the wall. That got Nestor to back out the throttle a little bit. Thomas F. took advantage of it. He's going to get down to the inside of Scott for the fourth hole. They're going to be neck and neck coming out of four. Martin looking even lower yet underneath Nestor. Excuse me, that's Jeff Lane. Nestor and Thomas F. come through. Scott fading fast. And Jeff Lane wiggles a little bit. Springer, Breedlove all get by Harold Scott as the 96 machine must have some mechanical problems because he's dropping like a rock. Fisher Jr., Barry, and Poole got a good 15 car length lead on the fourth spot of Tomasek. Nestor and Jeff Lane is looking for a way to get around Brian Nestor. That's the best race on the speedway currently. Heavy traffic in the back of the pack. And we're going to try and go three deep. Nope, they kept her clean. Everybody's going to get around the 96 there, and his mechanical problems are going to end his day early. And Barry looking to the bottom of Terry Fisher Jr. coming out of two. He's going to stay that way and try to just out hustle him into three. They dive into the corner. As Barry goes in hard, and it shows because he lost a little bit of grip coming out. Terry Fisher Jr. just takes away the lead again. Got about a two or three car length lead coming out of two. Chad Poole sitting back going, I'll just wait my time here. But something's bound to happen as hard as you guys are running early in the contest. Five in, 35 to go. Scott Tomasek, Brian Nestor, third and fourth. Jeff Lane, excuse me, fourth and fifth. Jeff Lane in the sixth spot. Brad Springer, Damon Breedlove. And Jonathan Martin. Caution on the speedway. Activity on the backstretch. And today, this is the way they have decided to do it. So the Madhouse restart puts Barry on the inside, Fisher on the outside, Nestor inside two, Poole outside two, Springer and Tomasek third row, Axum and Lane in the fourth row, and Burkett and Breedlove fifth row. The throttles are open. Fisher gets a good jump, and the green flag is out. The way Terry Fisher goes, Poole going to try and keep the RPMs up and get to the outside of Barry. And they stretch out a lead quickly on third and fourth place, and we have a mess. Nope, just a spin over on turn two. Burkett gets turned around. The lineup is good. Brent Martin hustles out of the pits and gets to the racing surface. He's going to have to go because... The race is going to start behind him, and here they go. Fisher again, hard into the throttle, gets a nice jump. Poole's going to follow him through. Looks like a nose on Barry, but Barry does not get out of the throttle, and they're going to drag race it down the back stretch. Poole does pull out just ahead, just a smidgen. Barry's going to stay the low side, see if he can't get that spot back. Poole does a slide job. Barry gets up into the high lane, and he's chased by the ever-present Brian Nestor. Thomas in fifth. 
Lane in six, looks no below Tomasek. No place to go, so we got a clean lap in, and here comes Fisher Jr., your leader. Chad Poole second. Barry third, Nestor fourth, Tomasek fifth, and Jeff Lane sixth. Everybody in the top 10, pretty much single file. Nothing changes. Breedlove is going to take a look under Springer in between one and two. And Don Skaggs is going the wrong direction. Right down the front stretch here, right in front of everybody here in the grandstands. Left front tire turned in pretty severely compared to the right front. He's got some broken steering linkage on that car, I believe. The field opens the throttle going into three, stands on it in the middle of the throttle, a little bit buried, a little bit loose with a wiggle. That'll give Fisher a half car length lead by the time he gets to the stripe. And Fisher again keeps the R's up and starts to take the point. Mack and Poole is going to chase his bumper right down. Barry to the inside. Terry Fisher to the outside. Fisher won. Dead heat for second. And Nestor going to hang back and forth for a few laps just to see where these guys are going to end up. Springer fifth. Thomas X sixth. Sixth. And Lane seventh. Pool looking a little bit low, decides that's not the way he wants to go. Barry takes a peek downstairs. He doesn't go anywhere, and they're going to go single file through one and two. Fisher, Poole, Barry, and Nestor, Springer. Tomasek gets around Lane, or Lane didn't get the job done under Tomasek. Lane falls back into line, and we're single file racing a little bit again here. 20 in, 20 to go, halfway through. Joe Axum looking a little bit low. Thinking of making a move on Jonathan Martin. Packs it away and not, doesn't do anything. Barry now takes a look at the low side of Chad Poole, but Poole stretches out his, his space. Oh, Barry gets into the corner nice and hard. Going to take another run at him down below. Doesn't get the job done. Fisher's still on the point, but only by a couple of car lengths in front of Poole. And Barry looking to improve his position any time now. Looking for Poole to just bobble a little bit. Nestor. About eight or nine car lengths back, just biding his time and saving some tires. Springer fifth, Tomsek sixth, Lane seventh, Breedlove eighth. The Co Motorsports number 28, driven by Terry Fisher Jr., is on a rail this afternoon. 25 in, 15 to go. As that car has been just. Almost flawless here, this feature race. After they battled some motor troubles earlier in the year and had trouble figuring out why, it just didn't have any power. They have obviously solved that and some. Barry again looking to find a way to get around Pool. Pool making that blue modified a little bit wider than normal. Doing a good job holding off second spot and hoping Fisher bobbles and does something unusual that he can take advantage of him. It's still Fisher, Pool, Barry, and Nestor. Springer, your top five. Twenty-eight in, twelve to go. And Barry's trying to put a little bit of heat on pool. He gets through three and four a little bit better. Down on the low side, taking another look low. Still not enough room, not enough horsepower, not enough grip to get under pool. So it's Fisher, pool. Barry, Nestor, and Springer, your top five. T 
10 laps to go. Fisher still holds the point. Barry looking low again, coming out of two, but just doesn't seem to have enough grip or horsepower to get the job done. Lap traffic is going to come into play here very shortly as Brent Martin and Mark Bott are on the verge of being lapped by Terry Fisher, Jr. We'll see if anybody can use the old pick play and see if uh, take advantage of it. They clear Martin smoothly. Bott's the next guy in the way. And he gets down and makes a lot of racing room for the leaders. So it's still Fisher, Poole, and Barry, your top three. Nestor's falling back almost a full straightaway in the fourth spot. Thomas X kind of eyeballing Springer for fifth. I'm sure the spotters have told the boys if you're going to go and you got anything left in them cars, it's go time. 33 in, seven to go. Fisher Jr. still holds the point. Poole and Barry. Five to go next time by. Samantha Jansen gets the layover flag and Fisher Jr. Poole and Barry still one, two, three. Again, Barry looks low and just doesn't have the gumption to get down there. Four to go, Fisher Jr., Poole. Barry, Nestor, and Scotty Tomasek rounds out your top five. to go. Fisher Jr. still on the point. Poole looking looking to do something with him. He's going to dive hard into three and close by about three or four car lengths. Now he's down to about a car length and a half taking a good hard look at his bumper and Barry just waiting for somebody to make a move. There's Poole down low. Going to go door to door. Coming out of two. See if the RPMs stay in Fisher's favor and they do. He just kept up the momentum and Poole just couldn't get underneath him. Here comes the checkered flag. Terry Fisher Jr. crosses the stripe first, Chad Poole second, Trevor Berry third, and we got a dead car toward the entrance of pit lane. So the race ends a very late caution, but the checkered flag was in the air, so that will be a completed race, and your winner, the Co Motorsports number 28, Terry Fisher Jr.